The next property that can be applied on a flex item is the flex grow property. This property specifies what amount of space inside the flex container the item should take up if necessary. And the flex grow factor is always relative to the size of the other items in the flex container. Let's understand this property with the UI. By default, you can see that the flex items only take up space that is required to fit the content. So there is a lot of extra space within the container. Sometimes though, you don't want the additional white space. Instead, you want the flex items to grow to take up the remaining space. By default, all flex items have a flex grow value of zero, which is why they don't take up the available extra space. Let's change that for one of the items and see what happens. So I'm gonna go back to Visual Studio Code and for item five, I will set flex grow to zero to begin with. Now, if I save this and refresh the browser, you can see that there is no change whatsoever. So zero is the default value. When I change the value to one though, and refresh the browser, you can see the change. Item five now grows to take up all the remaining space in the container. Let's add the property to item six as well. So item six, flex grow one. Now, if you take a look at the browser, the additional space has been evenly distributed between the two flex items, item five and item six. So if there was a hundred pixels available, item five would grow by an additional 50 pixels and item six again would grow by an additional 50 pixels. Now let me change the value of item six to three from one. What do you think is going to happen? Now when I refresh, you can see that both item five and item six grow, but item six takes up the extra space three times as much as item five. Remember, flex grow factor is relative. If item five grows by 25 pixels, item six has to be three times that value and hence grows by 75 pixels. And you can specify decimal values as well and that works completely fine. However, do not specify negative values. Now, you might want all the items to grow to take up the extra space evenly. For that, we simply add flex grow and set it to one for all the flex items. So I'm gonna go back to Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna comment out these two lines, flex grow on item five and flex grow on item six. And instead on the flex item class, which is applied to every individual item, I'm going to set flex grow to one. Now, if I refresh, you can see that all items grow evenly to take up the leftover space. There is no more additional space at the end of the container. So the flex grow property dictates what amount of the available space inside the flex container the items should take up. Flex grow factor is also relative to the other items in the container. By default, the value is zero, which dictates the items should not grow. Setting a flex grow value of one on all the flex items will cause the flex items to grow evenly when there is additional space in the container.